Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C Programming Session. In today's session, I'll be talking about socket programming using C language, that is, using the concept of UDP. I've already created one more video previously how we can do socket programming in C using the concept of TCP. This way, in today's session, I'll be taking the second part that is, you can do a socket programming with the second alternative using the UDP concept that is, user datagram protocol. Okay, I do expect you have a basic understanding of networking, you know some ideas of what is TCP and what is UDP. Okay, I just give you a rough idea UDP is a transmission less protocol, okay, so it's less protected. Okay, there is no concept of uh, acknowledgement and all. So, if suppose a packet has been lost. Uh, it will not resend it okay so generally we speak we always do with the help of we do the all the tasks in networking with the help of tcp only but in some cases like video transmission all in some packets has been lost is fine okay because we want to transmit large amount of data we generally use the udp concept in such areas okay uh, it's quite possible to do network programming with both tcp and udp people generally prefer with uh, tcp only but as such in exams and all people should know how to do the same programming or same application to be developed with the help of udp i do expect you have seen my previous videos if you're not i recommend you to do that because in previous video i have explained some concepts like sockets ips and protocols and all those things it will be much helpful for you to understand what i'm talking in today's session okay so i'll not repeat all those things uh, i uh, you can watch that video in youtube just put slash we know the best you'll get list of videos in that it has been specifying tcp programming in c okay it's quite latest video so it not be pop up once you type directly this concept in the youtube so i recommend you just type youtube.com slash we know the best okay you can find in that my video okay uh, server and client concept is uh, i'll just repeat it even though i've explained there because it's quite important uh, here also the same concept for the program you need two programs one is server and one is client so uh, client will be making the request uh, server will be accepting the request and accordingly it performs okay that is it uh, generates the result and it sends back to the client client accepts the uh, whatever result is being given to him uh, here the steps are quite less if you've seen in TCP we used to do in server side three uh, five major steps here it is been converted into three steps okay because you don't have to do much uh, like accept and all listening mode and all those things okay so it goes in this way we have to create the socket which we used to do in TCP okay if you know TCP this will be much much easier you'll easily understand what we are doing almost the same some of the changes only I'll pop up what are the changes okay uh, second is like you have to bind okay that is we used to do in tcp okay uh, two steps have been removed from here compared to tcp in udp we simply do uh, we don't go for listen we don't go for accept and all those concepts we simply start uh, sending and receiving data with the help of receive from and send to okay uh, in the client you have to do same steps you have to create a socket okay and you don't have to even bind or something uh, you simply start sending and receiving the data okay we'll be seeing the coding in it and that i've explained it okay uh i think so i missed it up uh just check it up it's here all the codes is ready okay we simply need to use them okay i'll show you i explain you what are things and what we have done it okay uh first we will see the server coding then we'll go to the client coding and finally we run it how to run the program and we'll get an idea what all is there okay let's start with server coding i've already coded it because it will take much more time if we just start doing from the scratch so i don't want to do it uh the minimum requirement is linux i do expect you're doing in linux so these header files are available okay i've created an error method that's same as tcp that's my own error method okay that is generally being used uh, for uh, printing my own error method it can be skipped you can use the built-in f printf error method you can use f okay so it's a main method command line argument it takes i hope so you understand because we have to pass the board numbers and localhost and all those things when we are running the program so uh, dot slash server dot out i specify my port number so it should be taken as command line argument i'm using that concept you can pass static values also but i recommend use runtime values okay so values will be stored in argv and number of values will be stored in argc these are my local variables i have created the important one is the buffer which i'll be using for sending and receiving the data if argc is less than 2 okay in that case i'll be printing 
that uh, particular error message and I'll be exiting it okay so if everything goes fine first and foremost step like the in TCP I'll be creating a socket I'll be specifying him to uh, three major things AF underscore INET because I'm using the internet concept that is IP concept I'm giving the IP address for the computers to understand it second is socket datagram okay here is the change comes here because I'm specifying socket datagram that is it is uh, telling that the socket is to be created for UDP concept okay this is the major one change which we are using in the sockets to specify him to create a socket for UDP okay so socket underscore datagram will specify that the socket is to be created for UDP okay zero is the argument as same as TCP that is accordingly create the appropriate socket if socket is created successfully it will be greater than zero if anything goes wrong it will return a value less than zero so I'll print the error I'll call my error method to print the error and it will get out of the program okay first of all the same steps we are doing that is we have to store the server address and all okay so I have a server structure variable I have to get it ready okay first I clear it b0 I'm clearing the server uh, that structure variable now I'm specifying a server, uh, server that structure variable I'm saying uh, in that the family I'm using internet address okay get his own address that is get the per lo uh, that particular PC address IP address automatically here I am getting the port number the port number I have passed as command line argument it will be stored in argv okay so I am converting a argv into that is character value to integer with the help of ATI function ATI is uh, another uh, with the help of ATI I will be able to convert into integer but I need it in the network format so I am calling HTNS method it will convert my integer method to a network understandable variable okay so I'm storing it my variable uh, in the sin underscore port so address IP address port number everything is ready so my socket is ready my structure variable is ready I now have to bind both of them that is this, this is the socket is created for this particular structure variable so I'm using the bind method uh, I'm telling him to uh, this socket is knowing all the information of socket combine it uh, that is bind with this particular server variable I'm specifying the length I've already calculated it okay if any everything goes fine it will be the value is greater than zero anything goes wrong it will be less than zero I'll again call my error method fine now I have created while one okay uh, this is because I want my server to be in an infinite loop okay this I have created because the server should accept multiple users request okay so I'm putting while one so this whatever code I have written inside it it will be uh, executing n number of times okay so anywhere anytime any request comes that means a client request comes he accepts the request he performs the result and he sends back server will be still be up only running okay so I want to do something like that that's why I've done while one is there okay uh, receive uh, from method okay if you remember we have completed the two more two major methods okay task now the send and receive task comes in the server okay so receive from method I'm calling okay receives from takes six arguments it's almost same as uh, receive method of the read and write method of uh, TCP okay receive method I'm saying okay who is knowing the information socket is knowing where you want to receive in the buffer what is the size of buffer 1024 okay 0 is the default argument I'm passing structure I'm saying who is the structure address and what is the length I'm specifying okay so uh, data will be copied into buffer okay if everything goes fine it will be value is greater than 0 uh, I want to print it I have used write method you can use your own concept okay uh, you can use printf method much more easier way you will feel I've just shown you there is an alternative method that is write method I'm specifying write okay what you want to write I want to specify that this is the content I want to write received a datagram okay I have to specify the length because in write method I have to specify the length uh, write method I'm telling I want to print what uh, the client has sent it so I'm write is there the data has been copied to buffer so I'm saying write one inside the buffer whatever value is there just print it and is the length I'm specifying okay so that will be printed up okay now I want to send some data to uh, client okay so you can do a printf and scanf if you want to do generate a server side message and then you want to send I'm se sending a static message okay so I'm send I'm calling send to method uh, receiving method you have to use receive from if you want to send something to the client you have to use the method called send to it's almost similar if you see it, nothing is changed socket is having all the information your message in this case I want to store in buffer in this is the my message to be sent okay this is the size of it okay what is the message size zero structure uh, address and structures length okay so it's almost same nothing has been changed up if n is less than zero okay that everything goes fine it will not be less than zero it will be greater than zero it will print the message to the it will send the message to the client let's see that in the client side it's almost similar to this thing we have a main method 
we have local videos we have buffers if arg is less not equal to 3 i'm printing my error this is in the case if we have not specifying local host and port number that is the case i'm creating the socket that's almost same that is internet address socket datagram because i want to use the concept of udp if socket is less than 0 i'm printing the i'm calling my error method i'm setting my server in inf address I'm saying host name. If you remember, this was there in this TCP also. That is getting the host name. That is local host or IP address. What I'm passing. Argv is having value. Get host by name. It will convert into it and it will store in HP. If everything goes fine, it will not be zero. Okay. B copy. I'm copying the value. Okay. It is same there. I'm copying the uh, address into the uh, particular variable. I'm copying the address. Getting the uh, port number. Argv to ATUI function converting character into integer HTNS converting a integer variable into network understandable code getting the length I'm asking the user to enter the message what you want to send that is I'm asking client to at runtime to enter the value I have used fkts you can use scanf method before entering the value I'm clearing the b0 buffer value okay this is quite important okay because sometimes if your message is having junk values make sure you just clear it up then you get the fkts method or scanf method I'm clearing the buffer I'm saying fkts okay fkts is similar to scanf fkts where you want to store it I'm saying in the buffer what is the size of it 255 which method you from which concept you want to use I have same as in okay standard input whatever value has been passed it will be stored into the buffer uh, now values there in buffer you have the socket and everything is ready now simply I want to send the message so I'm using the method called send to okay same socket buffer is having all the values what is the length of buffer str alien is having the knowledge zero server address and server length okay if everything goes fine it will be value is greater than zero okay now I expect that server has received it server has performed some operation and it will return me the back some answer now to receive the answer I have to use receive from okay same receive from socket okay it is better you clear the buffer here also okay else there are chances of some problems okay I have not create I have not done it here okay I'll not be ha I'm not facing any problems but it is better option you to clear the buffer if for before receiving and sending the data okay so receive from socket buffer is the value what is the size of it from and length that is having the address and length of it if n is less than 0 okay then that is the message now I want to print the message I have used write method I'm saying I got the message and this is the message whatever there is in the buffer I'm printing the value of it okay let's see how to run this program and what all the things are going on okay uh, this is my folder I'm having server underscore UDP dot CPV and client UDP okay let's run it I'll compile it first client okay so I'm showing some warning but it has created the server dot output file server dot UDP I'm running and I've created both of them run the server dot output 4547 is my port number I'm saying service started server is in finite loop it is now expe expecting some client to come okay and now open a new terminal for the client okay slash client dot out I'm specifying local host 4547 okay it's saying uh, it has connected it it's saying what message you want to send I'm saying hello you know so message has been sent from client to server it receives here and he gets the message okay and he has sent a static message that is I got your uh, got an acknowledgement got your message okay now if you want to send some another data I the, if you see because I have written while, uh, while one in the server side it is in the infinite loop okay yeah here you can call another that means you can connect another client some another client is there he can say hello ABC so that well message will be also be printed and again client is receiving the data okay so in this way you can send multiple data and all this is possible because it is in the while one concept okay uh, I hope so you have understood what I want to tell you in the server and UDP concept okay this way you can do a socket program with the help of UDP using the C languages in this program we have seen uh, what are the server and client concepts what are the major steps you have to require to be or coding you have to do in the server side and client side and we've seen the server and client coding and finally we run it uh, with the help of Linux terminals okay I hope so you have understood it what I want to tell if you have any queries you can post a comment or else you can drop a mail to we know the best at the gmail.com thank you and have a nice day